going on guys? Welcome back to the Beowulf Nation. It's I am Beowulf back with another video. This is the first time riding my brand new 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R. Look at this. Zero, zero hours. So this is the first ride ever. And I'm telling you, everything's different than a Sea Dew. Uh, wow. I, I'm real impressed. So we're going to go out. He got his drum with. My brother, uh, Real Coochie Gavin, if you're new to the channel, you're not used to this. We did all stuff with Sea Dews. We still got the Sea Dew. I still have my 2018. What? <laughs> so, I still have my 2018 Sea Dew RXPX 300. I got my younger brother, the Real Coochie Gavin, riding that. If you haven't checked out his channel, make sure to check it out. Also, too, if you're new and you've never even heard of me, because you're part of the Yamaha family. I'm Beowulf. Just hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I am underscore Beowulf. Make sure to the checkout. I got all Sea Dew Yamaha related merch um, at IamBeowulf.com. Make sure to check that out. And also too, this is my first time filming with my brand new DJI Osmo Action. I've done other videos with it, but the first time using a jet ski. So let's see what the sound turns like, what the video picture is, and we'll compare it to the GoPro. Um, from pre previous people watching. The only thing that sucks is it doesn't have its floaty. So if I lose it, it's lost and I'm not trying to lose it. So uh, Maiden Voyage taking this brand new 2019 out. And man, I'll tell you, you guys probably want to see the speed. Look at this thing, man. Woo! Totally different. Uh, so we're not sending records or anything. We're just kind of, you know, you got to break it in, make sure it's sync. I didn't even read the owner's manual. So like, hey, crash course jet ski's a jet ski well you call this one a wet it's called a wave runner so um yeah let's get it going we only got it's 750 gets dark at 827 so let's try to get this video going we'll get the drone footage and whatnot but uh man i'll tell you it, it rides it feels different it feels a lot lighter than my rxtx 300 that i owned i mean the rxtx felt the weight i don't know off the top of my head what the weights are between the two but this does feel a little bit more agile, like how the RXPX 300 is. It's not as long either as what the RXDX was. So um, to my existing subscribers that like the RXDX action, man, I'm sorry, but we got something new for the channel. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Man, from so far riding it, I mean, it's not that long. This is my first time riding a GP too. Um, the 2019, they improved a few things. I think it's the ride plate and the intake rate are the two biggest things uh, changed with them. And I'll tell you, it's, it's a different machine. Very interesting to ride. Uh, feels, a, feels a lot lighter. Um, it's interesting because I've heard a lot of people's reviews and a, a lot of people told me like these things don't ride that great. And I'll have to tell you, I'm, I'm really impressed so far. Um, I've heard people say in chat that it's kind of um, difficult, but I mean, we're gonna take them, I think we're planning on going to the ocean tomorrow. There's just some work I gotta do on my trailer um, and then we're gonna go in the ocean. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. This is nice. I I have to tell you, like, it it's gonna break some hearts, man, but I'll tell you, it, it handles a lot better than what my RXTX was. Um, the RXTX rode nice, it was good straight, but it did feel really heavy, like I said earlier in this video. This feels a lot more agile, especially maneuvering wise. There was a lot of times in, times in the RXTX riding, it was hard to get it to go like fast through something, um, like real maneuvering things. The RXPX was better handling quick maneuvering. I really have to say these, the RXTI, or the RXPX and the GP1100R are kind of like, but not. They're completely, you can feel it, how you sit in it. Uh, you sit a lot different. Um, and that's every brand. But I'll tell you, so far, man, this is, this is I feel glad I'm getting it. I know there's some new mods going to be in the future coming. I've actually ordered some stuff already uh, from Riva. And uh, we'll see where this all goes. And um, man, I'm, I'm excited. We're, he's getting right now, he brought his Phantom uh, forward tied up and we launch it we're gonna get some cool cool shots like riding down the water and stuff real low and uh see how that turns out it's still got a lot of light but i mean it's good to get it out here and we've been trying to be secretive about with this i haven't posted anything when this video gets uploaded i've had this thing for probably like two weeks almost two weeks and i've been very quiet and silent and only certain people know about it i want to be really quiet with it so um you've obviously seen the video when i picked it up but this will be the second video with it and uh, more to come. And uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It's a good spot too, it's been tying up. Uh, we're watching drones. The previous times what I've done is, uh, if you have a drone and you wonder what to do, is um, you trying to figure out how to tie it up? Just hook them off the same hook. Yeah, that thing won't go anywhere. That's all you have to do. You're good. But uh, if, if you're new and you, you're riding with some people and you're trying to figure out what to do with the drone, the best thing to do is pick up an area where it's like a low dock. Like, if I launch there, put, I leave my controller on the dock, and that's how we film that footage. There's no way to really ride holding it and have like an interesting riding um, in case you actually hit the sticks or something with the drone. That's probably the safest thing. So the nice thing is these are these are not public docks here, they are private, um, but they're shared with the neighborhoods. So I don't think anybody really care about us using it, doing it. So let's get this drone up, man. He's, he's gonna locked and loaded, and we'll get some like pretty good good shots, I hope. <laughs> yeah. For the rugged, for the rugged, for the rugged. For the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record all record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record all record. I still want to act not the ghost. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. Running through it with the young influence, adolescent presence, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are elusive and I'm barely moving. But I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I work the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting no bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper right, right, right. cash, fuck a tax. That's a joke. Tell them that. Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Brody clap, but get a whack. Contract, give me the facts. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's straps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. Facts, I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a tax, that's a joke. Tell him that, Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Bro, need the clap, but get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's racks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. We did it. We did it. Man, this. See, there's like obstacle. Avoid. Avoid. <laughs> warning. 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 There was like tons of birds too, like swarming around that thing. Uh, wow. This thing is neat. Definitely, you're in the market for getting a new ski. I have to say. I mean, yeah. What's that? He's all worried about the speakers. Like, who cares about the speaker? You can add speakers, but I'm not adding it. This thing, this is all for racing, not, um, same as I want to add speakers. Yeah, I'll have to tell you, these two, man, if you're in the market getting a ski, th this is where it's at. For c I'm telling you, no question this. But it, it also matters to, to be honest, is the size the person is. If you're kind of somebody on the, the huskier side, the RXTX is the way to go. You plan on having people on the back, it's the way to go. The RXTX. But this, this is a three seater, but the max weight this thing could have is 550 pounds. So think of somebody's like 200 something, and then you know, you really couldn't probably have all three, three, three people on it, the same as that's a two seater. But when you really look at it, it doesn't really look like a three seater. And I'll do a whole video showing all about this other stuff, but this is like the oh, first ride. Video yeah, right. Well, right now it's not. It's it bogs back down when you get to seventy because it's still breaking in, and I don't even know how many hours it takes. It might take ten hours, five hours. I didn't even, like I said. I haven't looked at um, the owner's manual, but I have to say the seat's really nice. I have to tell you though, is this seat here is like really good grip like right here on the your back of your butt is um really nice the only thing i wouldn't say i don't like is you can already tell it's getting dirty is the white um so i am probably going to be changing the seat just because there's too much white in it and it's going to get really dirty and look bad um so i don't know if i'll get like a uh, completely i'm going to do a new seat cover but i don't know if i'm going to get like a different brand man look at that look at all the bubbles coming from underwater there big gator below here could be something we have a bunch of bubbles right over there 
So I don't know, but there's all these plants. So we're gonna kind of have like a step-by-step -step of what to do. It's not gonna be a bunch of mods all at once. It's gonna be step-by-step. -step. Actually, I think this side, other side is, no, it is blue. I swear it's like, this part was white on the other side. I'll have to look at, is it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's just cool. Might do something different with the graphics. Uh, that has some of the I'm Baywolf stuff on there and whatnot. So I like that. This is just too big saying Wave Runner and all this, but it looks cool with the thing. So I might find a graphic people to kind of like duplicate this to kind of change certain things. But man, it's nice. Nice ski. The, the big question is one first time in the ocean what this thing's going to do. All right, so before I pushed off, the bubbles were right underneath the jet ski. Uh, they're right there. So there has to be something moving underwater pretty fast. It could be a gator right here. I wouldn't, actually, I would not doubt this with all this Martian stuff. Uh, it's now heading that way. What? No way, man. Definitely has to, it has to be some gator, something moving underwater, the breeze. I dare you to jump in right on top of it and see what happens. I'll tell you, man. Got all these people thinking this is a swimming hole here. I tell you, there's stuff out here and I was stirring up everything and it could be a gator going in here for the night. It's dusk I and mean, it's time some predators out. All right, so you want to head down that way and then head back? Well, let's go down there. We got enough light. We'll go all the way. And also comes with this re also comes with this remote that I have absolutely no clue what it does. Um because I obviously like I said I haven't read that in manual, so I took it with just in case if I needed it. Oops, this little cubby hole. This is also storage completely full.
right, so this is the whole merch that I just dropped, the GP1800R hat. Uh, I'm Beowulf. This should be up on the website uh, when this video goes up. I hope we just gotta do a photo shoot, but man, it looks, looks cool. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the first ride of the GP1800R 2019 Yamaha. Man, it's weird to have another trailer. If you guys have been watching me and subscribed, it's, uh, this is Gucci Gavin's. If you guys haven't checked out, like I said, his channel, this is his Camaro. He got the lights and stuff, but it's kind of weird. RXT is still here in spirit, but here's the new setup. And uh, man, it's interesting. This thing is definitely rides different and there's a lot of stuff features different, which we'll see how it all handles. But you can already see from here, look at how different you sit in these seats. It's totally crazy. But this is set up tomorrow. I'm getting all this fixed because like all my lights are not working. Oh yeah. What do you think, man? Was it pretty cool seeing this thing on the water? Yeah, man. Got some cool drone footage. Yeah, got some drone footage. Really low. I was like at eight feet with the drone, which is, that's not that far. Did it get wet at all? I hope not. <laughs> well, you felt it. It wasn't wet, right? No, it didn't, wasn't wet. Yeah, it's like sprays out the back. A lot yeah, different than the seat. I, I know for sure the, way, the things that has to be eight feet high is what you're spraying. The spraying? Really? Oh, yeah. Because I was like, one minute second, I was like, uh-oh. Oh. Here I'll tell you, we, we want to go look at one of these. If you follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. I did an Instagram photo on my stories of a different one I looked at. And everybody thought I bought one. And it looks cooler when it's not in a showroom than when you got it on the water. And I, I would agree. It definitely it's neat, man. See, it has a foldable ladder. The only thing is that when a dealer, they never reset this. So I have to reset this. This thing should be like, like this one's way in the back. Yeah. This should be back a lot farther. And I kind of said something to them and they didn't do anything and it was they were already closed when I picked this whole thing up So this needs I need to push this back. So hopefully you could help me push this thing back Not right now. I need to have tools because this slides and adjusts. So we just need to like Pull it back. I could probably do it by myself But it'd be easier with two people and you just give it a good yank back Yeah, cuz it's gonna be hard difficult to pull these well, I can I Still get to the drain plugs. It just it's a little bit more difficult um, it's not impossible, but I mean, yeah, so this is the new setup to all of the people that have been wanting the Yamaha on the channel. It finally we got happened. The Yamaha, the Yamaha is here. We got, we got the, the merch. CDU. No, we got to get. I gotta get the Kawasaki stand up and we'll have yeah. all three. One step at a time now, all right? All three of the manufacturers is what all the right? plan is. Kawasaki, where are you? Let's yeah, get this in. Let's get the Let's stand get up going. going. Come on, I've seen the ads of Kawasaki. You guys wanna get into the stand up market again? Let's do it. The crazy thing, too, did you know that I told you? So when I was at this dealer, I didn't know this either because the Yamaha Superjet, which is the stand up that Yamaha makes, to buy that you have to have a special license to get that it doesn't matter you could have all the money and pay even more they cannot sell it to you buy yamaha you have to go to a class and ride and get a license to own one that's just to ride one on the on the river it's pretty crazy huh pretty crazy so that's why we're gonna get the license and go out in the ocean <laughs> what do you mean the license to get in the ocean i said we're gonna get it and then go take, take, it take the, the yamaha super jet one of those little ones oh man i'll see you do that also too and i'll do it in another video talking about but a, a subscriber caught today it was see, it was the first video i did of 2019 and in a video i'll link it up the top where um my spot is white shark and i didn't see it i saw it but my footage didn't show when i first saw it and i never even like noticed throughout the video which i'm shocked but it like if you click the link up there and go at 11 minutes until 11 minutes and 15 seconds you'll see the white shark breach out of the water when i'm heading right towards it was following me so it's pretty crazy yeah. and one, is, one of your subscribers has it in the comments the time, yeah. yeah somebody comment on the video showing what it is so uh it's the end of the video make sure to follow you on instagram Real gucci gavin i instagram and he's on youtube, on YouTube. and to make sure you go on i'm beowulf.com have all the merch so we got okay, yamaha hats got the tank tops t-shirts hoodies and uh, there's a bunch of new stuff that just came out too. So once you see this video, there's if you've seen the merch, there's even more merch. Make sure you pick it up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Become part of the Beowulf Nation. Beowulf Nation! Salute. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.
Man, this is this is sick.